if you uh, select the drop down to be in the console and then over here in the uh, search box just search for print it will tell you the uh, syntax for that print function so you can see this print function here it tell you what it is it's a, it's a function of the built-in module uh, it's built into python and explain what it does okay and so if you look at this this is the complete syntax for that print function and our our function print i just print one message called hello just the string so that string is the value part right here this is the value whatever the value is and then here you have some some other stuff okay this dot 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 mean is a spread what, what that means is that you can have multiple values right if you separate each with a comma okay so in other words i can go and print something like this they can say print i there like that you separate each uh, value with the comma and so when it printed out it would say hi there okay that's what this means and you can print uh, something like this print uh, I am um, and then oops I am and a comma 20 comma years old and when you hit enter you see that it says I'm 20 years old right that's why it's very flexible in Python to do it this way so you can separate each variable or each uh, um, piece of code here I'm using a string a number and a string again to print that okay so values and then you have a sep here this is called a separator separator by default has a, a single space character this space here is the space in between uh, the word hi there as you can see inside here there's no white space right between the quotes here there's no white space right so every time you have a comma between these two words it's going to create a separator using a, a white space and that white space you can see is this guy right here and there is an end uh, attribute equal to the slash n okay the slash in here is known as the line feed or uh, i guess you can also say that's the carriage return okay what this one does is that at the end of your statement once it's printed it's going to have a carriage return and then your next line will be on the next line down here okay if you use that as as a part of the um, the carriage return so by default these are the default settings you can override these and i'll show you in a minute the next part here is optional we're not going to use this until much later in the course this means you can actually print the output here instead of going to the console you can save the output directly to a file when we write uh, um, read uh, and write files we can we can see how useful this can be okay and then the flush here it just means that once you write to the file you want to clear everything in the flush and the stream again that's something we'll talk about later so for now this print statement um, you don't have to worry about you know all of these here I'm just showing you here if you want to use it you can maybe maybe this this just these three here okay uh, but usually we don't have to concern about these usually just just this part okay so I want to show you what this sap is and what this end is so that um, when you print data to your console you can use that for formatting your code so let's go over here to the um, program and let me clear my console again control L over here and then so let's say I have another one print uh, world right so I have two uh, uh, messages here and notice I'm using one with a double quotes and one with a, with a single quotes okay these are called strings and so strings uh, you have to wrap your characters with a pair of double quotes or single quotes, but not uh, not a mix of at your those. Okay, so either one will be fine. So if I if I save this now and I print, run and print, 
you will see the result here in two separate lines, right? And that is because, again, because the end of that print function has a character return set in. Notice when I, when I do this, if I go to the first statement, and if I put a comma here, and I say end equals, and you put a character here, by default, it's a slash n. If you remove that slash n and just leave it blank like that, so now there's no carriage return, okay? So if I, I save it now and run it again, and you will see the result is now different from above, right? So notice we lost the carriage return uh, for the first print function because we removed it. We override that, the slash n. And so because it's no carriage return, then the next line prints exactly where the cursor was at the time. It was hanging right in here. And then we print the word world. And because the world, we did not, you know, override the end here. So the cursor, and it's also the end of the statement. So we end right here, right? So that's just uh, uh, some, you know, uh, handy ways to uh, format your print statements. If you want to print a single line using multiple print functions, then you do it this way. You just overwrite that end um, space here. <clears throat> okay, so now if I go to do, go something like this, back to this part, I'm gonna modify this separator. So by default, it's one white space in between. I just showed you earlier, right? So for now, so as you notice, there's no white spaces after or before the, the words. And if I save that now, I'm gonna clear my console over here and run it. You'll see that it added that white space automatically because that's the default. So again, you can change that as well. Just make sure that it has to be the end of all your values, okay? So, I mean, you cannot put it in between. It has to be the, the end of the values. And then you can say uh, sap equals, and you add any character you want. So if you just put a blank uh, pair of character um, quotes, no space in between, that means you are removing the white space. So because now I'm overwriting that, if I save it now and I run it, you see that the white space is now gone, right? It's gone. So it gives you this uh, flexible way of, of updating your code. I can put any character I want here. I could put like stars, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, a space, three stars and a space. And when you run it, you get this really interesting output here, right? And so for every word that you put in here, like hello world, and then exclamation mark or something, right? So I have three values to print and I separate each value with this separator. And you run, you print something that looks like that, right? So again, for outputting purposes, Okay, so that is, um, so I, I just showed you how you can print, uh, you know, three text out to the console. And if I remove that last part again, if I print that out again, you will see on the right side that it has a white space the default again back to default white space and every every for every comma there's a white space you can think of it that way but i'm joining three words into one okay so um this is another way to uh what we will call concatenate your strings otherwise another way to print this out would be something like this right print Hello world, and then that. So if I print, I'm gonna get the same result as you can see, okay? So here I'm separating each word with a comma. Here I combine everything as a single uh, string. If I print um, like, um, hi, I am, um, plus, and then if I put, let's just say S2, okay? S2 is an integer, I'm um, S2 points behind, okay? 
So I want to say, hi, I am 123 points behind. That is the expectation. So when you, I'm joining three strings. I mean, I'm trying to join three strings here. This is string one, uh, 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 integer one, two, three, and the other strings. So again, back to the rule, if you are joining a string with any other type, all of these must be converted to string. Okay, so if you run, you can have an error. The same error, it says type error. Type means the data type doesn't match. So again, doesn't know what to do. So therefore you have to convert this S2 to a, a string, right? So then you have to go in here and say, okay, I have to wrap this to str so I can print it out. And then there it is. So if you're using the concatenator, you have to convert all your non-string to strings first to, to output. The other option that you can use, I mentioned earlier also, if you remember the print function, right? Up here, you can include many values with a comma. So this one, you can rewrite to do something like this. So I want to say, okay, I am, I'll remove that space, comma, remove all of that. I'll use each of those as separate, separate pieces, as separate values for the print statement. As you can see, I don't have to worry about conversion here because each of those will be treated separately. And the result is gonna print that to the output as a string anyway. So when I print that out, you see it got the same result. So you have so many options here, right? Another way to rewrite this using the print function is you can use the placeholder for this variable here. So I can do something like this. In that spot, I'll use a pair of curly braces like that, okay? This is a placeholder, I am, what's gonna go here is at the end over here, the string, so over here, and you can use a function called format. So dot format. Inside this function, you can pass the values to go into this slot. So this only one set of curly braces here is gonna replace with S2. So I put S2 here, okay? So you see that it prints I am, it finds that, oh, it's, you're gonna format that string and, and each of these slots pass in the value of this variable to the slot. And this is really handy because uh, you can control the order of these uh, uh, variable here. Uh, what I mean is like, I can go back and do something like this. Let's say I have, um, I am in 25 points. I say I'm 25 and Another here, I'm just use that for example here. So the first slot, second slot. So the first slot, comma, what is gonna go to the second slot? I could put a number, you know, five, six, seven. So in that order, one, two, one, two. And then you see that it goes into the slots. I put a number here, it doesn't be number, it could be anything. It could be a string or it doesn't matter because I did not specify here, right? And this is really important again, I mentioned that because if I go back up arrow key and run it again, I can change the order here. I want to print, you know, um, so this will be the uh, first position, the second position, okay? The first position always is the zero position. And this is the one position and then two, three, four, right? Always start with zero first. So I want to swap those around. This will be the uh, first, the second position, this is the first one. So that means the number zero is the lowest one. So this is always the zero position. So that means this value is gonna go here. And then this is gonna go over here because this is this next one. So I basically swap the two here just by you know changing the order here. So you can see that the number has been swapped. 